What the hell is that? Did you see that? Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day number seven. Um, we are here at Trader Bob's. I just thought before we headed back home or back to the burnt biome where our horde base is at, um, I thought, you know, maybe we should see what's up with his inventory because I think it changed today. I did grab a few things out of this um, cement mixer right here and I already read the books, but I found a forge ahead book and I found an anvil which we love, we absolutely love. Okay, let's check that inventory. Um, well, we, we know right off the bat, the thing I'm looking for is, let's see, oh, he does have it. I would, this is what I was really looking for. I wanted to see if he had a wire tool. He does, which means we really need to hurry home so we can, you know, add some electricity to our horde base. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am a little tempted by this iron pickaxe as well, but, Maybe we'll hold off on that because we'll be back, right? This is where we're going to make our home. So Bob's going to be our trader from now on. I might buy a little more cement. Okay, I'm just going to buy a, another hundred. I think the rest of it that I purchased from him, I have in the vehicle. I'm going to buy this meat stew and I'm going to buy the chili dog. That way we don't have to just even think about food today. Oh! Guys, he's got an AK-47. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to sell him whatever I can sell him to see if we can get enough to do that. I shouldn't have bought the food, but it's too late now. Take this ammo. Will you take this ammo? Um, okay, where does that put us? Not even close. Um, okay, wait, let me see what I've got in the vehicle. A level two AK, that would be great for tonight. Wait, he might, maybe we'll sell these. Let me see if that's enough. You name it. Old Bob's got it. Okay, I do believe that that is enough. Welcome home. Level 2 AK-47. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Let's grab that and... I might have some more of those in the back room. Oh, perhaps. okay. Great. I'll be back for more later. Thanks, Bob. Okay, that's super exciting. Okay, we are... Wait, wait, wait. I marked something on the map. Okay, we don't want to go that way. We want to go over here. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm, I'm headed home. I will see you when we get there. Unless something extremely cool happens. Okay. Wait, does this count as my lake? Wait, let's drink. Does this count as my drinking from a lake? Okay, don't, don't hit the water. How do you drink? Oh, wait. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> okay, I drank from the lake. I'm feeling sick to my stomach and I have diarrhea. Why did I do that? I should not have done that. Why did the game just trick me into getting diarrhea? I just want to say that this little butt emoji with the poop is one of my favorite things in this game. Well, we don't have any goldenrod tea with us right now, so we will uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Guys, I'm still pooping. Still pooping. Drink from the lake, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Okay, we finally made it. I mean, we may have stopped to do a little too much looting. Um, do we have some golden raw tea? We do not. <laughs> we don't even have, oh wait, we might have golden raw to make golden raw tea. Um, okay, wait, let me put some stuff away and then we can figure out our pooping situation. Let's read the books that I found. So I found a big hitters. Oh my gosh, we can make a quality two baseball bat. We're going to do that. Um, we can make a quality two uh, wooden bow. We're going to do that. And what else? Shotgun Messiah Volume 4. We can now craft shotgun slugs. And Volume 6 means we can craft the shotgun tube extender mod. And we found a vehicle mag. And I think that's it. Okay, I'm sticking these engines that we found in here. So many engines. We're going to need some of those tonight. I'm so excited that we found that wire tool. Such such a great find today. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to just f finish up the horde base. That will just make me feel settled and ready. Um, let me see if I can make some tea. Do I have goldenrod anywhere else? I don't think I do. Luckily, the forest biome is right here. Um, where are the flowers? Um, okay, goldenrod. We're just, 
out here picking flowers on Horde Night. That's what we're doing. Might as well grab some chrysanthemums while we're out here. Um, are there any more? Okay, here goes another one. Okay, that should do us. I don't have time for you right now, guy. I am pooping on myself. I forgot to show you guys that I stuck the, uh, the dew collectors up here. So we'll grab these. And then we will make some tea. Oh, I'm so mad at myself because we need bow parts to make that better bow. I totally forgot about that. And Trader Bob had some. So we might go see if Trader um, Jen has some. But for now, we're just going to... Um, we're cooking the iron that we're going to need to make the upgraded baseball bat. So we're going to do that. And not me being cured before I drank the goldenrod. I'm just going to drink it anyway. How dare you? I think I've got everything I need. I've got the cobblestone. I've got the concrete mix that we bought. Let's go um, look at the horde base. The first thing we're going to do today is I'm going to knock down a little bit more of the fence here. <gasps> oh my gosh, airdrop. Oh, okay. We're going to go get that really quick. We, we love a good airdrop. Let's just go get it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, okay, we don't need the stone shovel, but we got a melee mods bundle, um, some crafting skill mags, a plaster cast. Again, always feels like just foreshadowing for broken bones. Um, let's see, let's open this. We got big hitters, we love that. Tool crafting and more armor mag. And what's inside of this? Ooh, nice. Um, great. I mean, we'll just put those on more items is what we'll do. Because <laughs> we have the weighted head already and the burning shaft mod, but I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I had to lighten the load a little bit. Now we're going to get back to it. You know, there's just a horde of zombies coming to kill us. That's, that's all. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to break down a little more on both sides. I just don't want them to get caught up on the fence while they're close to this um and then you know make them feel like they could just go crazy i might do this okay one thing we definitely want to do is fix things here so that the zombies are not piling up and then climbing over and then getting to us that way Although, we're going to put the punch turret down here. I don't think they're going to get the opportunity to really pile up. But, you know, let's just make sure. And then, let's see. What could we put here that would be... I wonder if we did like this, too. Yeah, we kind of like that. Yep. We love it. We love it enough to go ahead and upgrade it. How much cobblestone do we have? Perfect. We need to go inside and do some work. First, let me upgrade these blocks. I need to upgrade these ladders as well. I just want to say that we still have yet to make any cobblestone <laughs> on our own. We are still using the cobblestone that we have gotten from the traders. In fact, we should go to Trader Jen today and see what she's got going on. Um, let's, you know, upgrade a few strategic blocks down here. Because the zombies are going to fall and start freaking out. Okay, let me take a little more of the fence off. And then we're going to go inside and break down the stairs. We have used the um, cement in some strategic places. My thought is they're going to pile up here um, when they climb up here. So I did upgrade some of these blocks as well as some of the walkway blocks. Okay, let's go inside and break some stuff down. I have one other thing I would like to do, and that involves me breaking this window out. Um, okay, nothing fancy. I just want a spot where I can throw Molotovs from, so. I always get really nervous because of spider zombies, because that feels like jumping distance there. So, let's think about that. I don't know. What if we did like this? This is our little makeshift, you know, save us from the spider zombie. So we'll just, you know, pick a block up, throw some Molotovs and put the block back down, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> okay, let me break down some stairs. I think that's it. Other than possibly going up to the roof. 
there there is no access to the roof. I already broke the um the ladder rungs down. Okay, let me seal up this hole and the other hole and we will be on our way. Let's fix this one too. We're just gonna break the jagged edges off and then we'll be able to put our blocks here. The stairs are going to take freaking forever. Let's put the sledge down. Oh, I forgot about the traps too, guys. Um, okay. I think that should do it. I'm running back to the house to grab the traps and we're gonna see if we can set up some electricity. I think supposedly the electric traps are different, hopefully like just in size. I don't know. Let them not be that different that it confuses me. <laughs> what happens if I just stick them here? Because then... Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. Then I could repair them, I think. We're just gonna do that. We'll put two generators in here. And, uh, two generators. We'll put two engines in there and then where's the tool? Where's the tool? Okay. I, I can't remember. We're gonna go like that. Let's turn it on. Test it out. Turn it off. Okay. And, oh, I forgot about this stuff. Let's put down some spikes. Oh, we could put some here to try to dissuade them from hitting the walls. We love that. And maybe we'll put some of these here to, again, dissuade them from hitting the wall. I am going to stick this here and hope that that stops them from trying to come into the door. Okay, I'm going to finish breaking the stairs down and then we shall be ready to face the Day 7 Horde. I will see you guys then. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> when I tell you that I just finished... Oh, yeah, we can reach the fences. I just can't remember which one it is that I need to repair. Um, I just finished knocking down that stair. Oh, okay, we love this. Oh, I forgot about dogs. Okay, wow, zombies. I, yeah, I totally forgot about the dogs. Um, dang it. Oh, well. We'll just have to deal with them after the night. Girl! You went flying! Yes, punch turret. Wait, we're supposed to be- Wait, what did I do with my baseball bat? Guys, wait, I think I put my baseball bat away. One second. I wanted to use my baseball bat if they got close enough. Oh. Oh, dang. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get to use my bat because the punch turret is... What the hell is that? What was that? Did you see that? Guys, what was that? Did anybody else see that? Am I losing my mind? I just saw some sort of weird feral dog. In, in any of the horde night. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> okay, we're just going for the headshots. Going for the headshots. Man, this punch turret is... I, I don't even think the... Oh, there they go. <laughs> like, have the electric fences even gone off at all? The punch turret for the win. I... I I'm just kind of astounded by the 
killer wolf that's downstairs. I knew somebody was going to get hung up on the fences. I knew it was going to happen. Man, I really want to go downstairs just so I can get a closer look at that thing. Oh, girl! <laughs> look at it! Look at it! Oh my gosh! In my head, I'm genuinely just like I only the only mod I have on this game is the is the like UI mod, and that doesn't add anything. That doesn't do anything but change the HUD. Bye, Ducky Nurse. I love you. Okay, pistol for the win tonight. Look at it. Look at it. Guys, I'm just gonna say be saying that all night long. Look at it. It's like it be, it's like a werewolf or something. How have I not seen that in anyone else's horde? <laughs> okay, this is we love we love this horde base. Yes, get the fence. Kill the fence, werewolf dog. Ooh, bird tried to come straight for me. Okay, I see a regular dog. What is that what happens to wolves, maybe, on Horde Night? They turn into that? Some sort of, like, wild wolf? Okay, we are almost out of nine mil. I think that's the first loot bag I have seen all night. Okay, I hear lots of block breaking happening underneath me. Look at it, guys. Oh my gosh, look at all the dogs. We killed it, we killed it, look at it! Oh my gosh. There's another one. That is so crazy. I'm so excited though right now. <laughs> like, I'm so glad that nobody ruined that for me. And I'm so sorry if I've ruined it for you, but I was not expecting it. Don't get up, girl. Don't get up. Just stay there. <laughs> oh, the punch turret. We love it. I didn't even look at what our game stage is before we started this nonsense. 57. I love the fact that I wasn't sure how they would react to these blocks about jumping over them, but I love the fact that they are jumping over them and they're not breaking them like I love that but the punch turret just finishes it off right I mean it's like if they manage to make it here then the punch turret takes care of them they're like just like that or sometimes they just end up falling off like those two did and it doesn't look like anybody's you know crazy block breaking I mean the, the dogs are just because they can't I, I forgot to make a way up for them I just can't get over that, guys. What the hell? Some sort of, like, hellhound-looking thing. My guy, I'm saving all this ammo for you tomorrow. Unless I could kill you right now. <gasps> I got it. Look at it, you guys. So wild. Okay, we've just got a couple more hours left. Headshots only. Headshots only. If we can. I wonder if I try to do this. If that would help. I'm gonna leave that. Oh! That's the closest anybody's gotten tonight. I think we are experiencing a new wave of zombies. Let's throw some more Molotovs just because we can. And we managed to not set ourselves on fire. 
Barely. I did not like that one. I'm ridiculous. Wish I had a crossbow. Okay, okay, I love it. Okay, I mean, I just don't know that things could go could have gone any better. I'm still horrified by this magical creature that's downstairs. I, because I haven't seen it in anyone else's horde. Unless it's the ultimate seven days to die community secret that I haven't heard about. <laughs> oh, first spider zombie. Let's kill him. Ooh, loot bag. Oh, we got some more nine mil. We'll take that. I was going to shoot you, but I think the base that we build when we get to the desert, it's just going to be bigger. We're not going to build it on the side of a building like it'll be a standalone base, but it's going to generally follow this just a, with some tweak differences. Oh, boo. No more nine mil. Let me repair this. So excited that we found that AK-47 today and the wire tool. Like today was just win-win. Guys, I have managed not to set myself up. Wait, what was the block break that I heard? I hope that was downstairs. If it has to break somewhere, let it be downstairs and not up here. What time is it? 2.30, 2.30. At this point, we're just gonna try to use as less, as uh, the least amount of ammo as we can. Um, so we can use it when we um, have to go deal with the dogs and the like magical werewolf that's downstairs. No one's on fire. I don't like it. How many bullets do we have left? Yeah, we're gonna hold on to all of these bullets and kill people that way with an arrow to the head. Oh man, when they get that stun from the electrical fences, it's like the perfect head headshot for a bow and arrow. There it goes, there it goes. Another wave of zombies is headed our way. We are almost done, you guys. Last Molotov. Ducky nurse, no! Not the ducky nurse. We did not really get to melee this horde night. I didn't think that through a lot. Um, only because it's like, of course we're not going to get to melee. The punch turret is going to melee for us, basically. <laughs> okay, just a little bit left and then we'll head downstairs and deal with everybody else. Oh, look at all the loot bags. Ducky nurse. Goodbye, my dear. Guys, I need you to die so I could go get my loot bags. I'm gonna be real here. Okay, we've got 44 bullets left. And just like that, challenge survive one blood moon is complete. We did it, we did it kids, we did it. Okay, let's go downstairs and kill these guys. Okay, let's come on out here. I don't think there's any more of the magical creatures left. I think we've just got zombies left. Oh, last couple of... You got me, you got me. What's in your loot bag? A piece of steel! We'll take it. You're the one with all my arrows. Man, it's so hard to like dodge the hit from the from the biker. Okay, got him. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the loot bags. Ooh, I saw a really nice axe, but I just wanna grab them before they despawn and I start crying. Let's read some books. Uh, automatic Weapons Volume 5. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. 
armor mag. And that's it right now. I saw a really nice axe. Ooh, I see some nine mil. We unlocked quality three armor. Guys, we did it. We made it through the first horde night. Look at what they did to the wall down here. Okay, we made it back up here. Let's just take a peek at what we got. We got some cash. I see some canned food. We got some nine mil, which was nice. A little more, 762. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of different bullets. We found this uh, level five um, axe, which is great. We'll repair that. Um, but yeah, nothing, you know, crazy to write home about. Um, probably the higher level axe is um, the best um, item that we got last night. Let's turn this off. We made it. I am, I, I'm gonna go Google all the things because I still don't know what is that creature that we saw. I'm, I love it. I mean, I just love it because I was so shocked and surprised when I saw it. <laughs> That it was kind of cool and I was kind it was kind of scary and I I love that shout out to the fun pimps for that one Um, okay, let's spend some skill points. We got four um Okay, so let's talk guys right because Right now we are putting points into agility and strength really um, I Mostly because I'm using the club right so I've been trying to level up pummel Pete I want to get a good shotgun at some point right that would be great um, but I also would like, you know, bows and such. I wonder as well if we shouldn't put points here, like at least one point into Gunslinger because we are using the handgun right now. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I think I'm also going to put a point into parkour. And maybe we put that last point into run and gun because... In a couple of ep episodes ago, when we were running from those feral zombies in the gas station, run and gun would have come in pretty handy. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick this up because we're going to take it with us. Tomorrow is moving day, you guys. So I am going to, or technically today is moving day. Um, I'm going to head back to the base. I'm going to get my stuff all together. And we are going to be heading into the desert biome permanently, which is very, very exciting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.